we're going to draw the file handle. So with AutoCAD the first thing you do if you've got uh, circles and center lines is you draw in the center lines. Not always the case with other programs but certainly with AutoCAD. So we'll draw the center lines, we'll draw the circles, we'll offset to get our distances away and then we'll work out the centers of these other circles. So let's make a start. I might just switch to the classic interface being a 2D or to the uh, 2D interface drafting and annotation so let's do a center line and it's roughly 110 long so let's just make it say 150 to give ourselves a bit of space that shows us how big the picture is going to be and a vertical center line running down here so we've got a circle on one end let's put that on and it has a radius of 27 now the end of the handle is 110 down this way so we'll offset to get that line and then offset to get the 12 so here's offset and we've got a distance of 110 and offset that line that way and while we're in there offset again a distance of 12 that line further across now the center of this next arc here we know that it's 5 back from that end and we know that it is 32 to the outsides which means it's 16 from the center line to the tip of that circle come back 5 means that from the center line to the center of the circle is 11 okay so I'm going to offset the, the center line down 11 and then I'll offset this end line back 5 so let's do that so we'll go offset once again 11 down that way we might as well go up the other way as well and we'll offset again a distance of 5 this line come back that way so that's given us the center of those two arcs at the end we'll do them as circles I'll just sit on there and there's one of them repeat and the other side we could mirror it but I'll just draw it now we need to put in the side of the file the side of the handle this curve here easiest way to do that is tan tan radius so I'll drop down my circle options and choose tan tan radius when you're doing tan tan radius select the tangent as close as you can to where the circle will actually touch give it a fighting chance to get it right so there's tangent to that circle tangent to that circle always try and work in an anti-clockwise direction as well because that's the way AutoCAD draws circles and the radius it's asking for down the bottom here is 150 and there's our circle there let's trim do a bit of trimming tidy it up so we'll get rid of that 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 and that looks like a little bit of leftover bit here now before we go any further what I'll do is mirror that part of the handle I want to mirror that object about that line so there's the outside of our handle uh, there's a little bit more to draw here if we have a look at our, our drawing 20 millimeters for this part where the file itself goes into so let's offset our center line once again offset distance of 10 either side and <coughs> bit hard to work out what's what here that's where it has to go out to we should be able to do a zero radius fillet 
there radius is already set to zero so I should be able to set zero radius fillet there and a zero radius fillet repeat the command press enter repeat the command zero radius fillet on the other end we're finished except for the trimming it's all over by the trimming let's do complete selection there and we'll just tidy it up just trim off these bits that we don't want and I think most of the other bits are going to be actually deleted uh, I think we're all pretty well done oops took out a bit much there <coughs> I'll just put those lines back in and I think this line here will have to be dragged in I've lost the shape of that line a bit, I should be able to recover it I think get rid of this one could leave our centre line in uh, let's just put the center line back in and there it is finished